Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more La Mulana 2. In the last episode, we found this thing, the glove. So now we can move blocks. With that in mind, uh, there's quite a few things we can do but uh, down in Honolulu. Or, again, however you pronounce that. I kind of don't really care at this point. <laughs> Uh, right, we gotta ride back up to make the best use of this. Boing. Pain. Just gotta drop it on a fish face. What'd we get? What'd we get? The rolling shuriken! Awesome. Whoops. So yeah, that's what they do. I can think of uh, at least one place where we can use that. We'll see if I can remember where it is or not. Whoops. Let's uh, carry on a Ready? You are not a guy. You are an enemy. Which, let's face it, is also kind of a guy, but... Okay, can these set off the switch? Indeed they can! Ladies and gentlemen, Breakthrough City! Oh, that was a... <laughs> that was a narrow ledge, I'm an idiot. Scan the mantra engraved walls. Their words hold power. Those with the Jed Pillar will be able to harness mantras. They will unleash the selecting of mantras, curated by the virtual wise man. Okay, so, mantras are engraved into walls. That is an excellent thing to know. can get up there. Whoops. <laughs> Derp. Let's go check it out. What is this room? Kaliga. So, ooh, it's a Hydra. Cool. Kalia, you did not do a very good job of fighting. What is the story here? The Black Dragon Nidhogg dwells at the roots of Egerso. The path forward will not reveal itself to the weak. Venture forth with strength. We already killed Nidhogg. Ooh, what's all this? Whoa! That's... something. What exactly is being said here? Oh! Uh, I think that's a mantra carving on that wall there. Alright, life up. Uh, let's ascend. See what's up. I find it kind of surprising we haven't uh, found a second guardian already. But uh, maybe the progression in this game is just different than in Lava Lava the first. What does this do for us? Ah! Now I can ride the, uh, the swinging platform. 
Snapshots. It's an app you can use to take photos and read hidden ancient texts. Awesome! New message. We bought the Snap app. I'll have you know I made that app. A few years ago, the entire disc was stolen, so I lost access to it completely. It's an app for taking photos. Not only takes photos, it's also able to read ancient text hidden in the photos as well. It's an exceptional piece of software. Try it out if you happen to come upon a mural or some such. Okay. Let's load it up. Right there. Ten mantras and the virtual wise man who has mastery over them are carved into the wall. Okay, so not only uh, will we find our mantras carved into the walls, we'll also find software is what you're saying here. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, don't know how I get over there just yet. Wait, this doesn't do anything for me, though. Gotta find another way around. The purple eye keeps watch over death's prison. Don't know what that means. Yet. I don't know where the golden key is, though. Hmm. What happens if I, uh, take a snap of this? Is that anything? No. Alright. It was worth a shot, right? I still don't have the Jed Pillar, though. It's somewhere in this area. At least it sounds that way. I can jump down here, right? Yeah. Doesn't get me anywhere, though. What am I missing? Let's see. I could go down that way, right? Yeah. Not that way, though. Were there any ancient uh, carvings up here I may have missed? Does not seem that way. I haven't seen much in the way of fairy light either. But oh well. Souls. Down here was I don't quite know. There's a there's a birth seal and and a chest. Out of curiosity, what happens if I jump down? Probably an insanely risk. Actually, yeah, that's an insanely risky move. So uh, I'm gonna save before I attempt that. <laughs> Don't want to uh, invalidate all my progress here over curiosity. I sure do hope I get the scale sphere soon. Down we go.
Immortal Battlefield! It's me. I'm at the Immortal Battlefield. I spotted a somewhat suspicious pair. An old guy with glasses and an old guy with a hat. I feel like I've seen them somewhere before. Dad and Grandpa! Welcome to the land of human war, where battle over a ring of water continues without end. The land will open itself when the ring of water is revived. Good to know. That looks like another one of Dad's journals. Races born from the mother. First, I must explain why I was able to ascertain the intentions of the mother, the huge living being I mentioned. Return the mother to space. This, for lack of a better term, mission, has been ingrained into the very genes of mankind born from said mother. In order to fulfill this mission, the children of the mother developed and proliferated intelligent civilization and strive to create the technology necessary for space travel. Following the trail of varied texts and literature left by these children, the existence and influence of this mother gradually come into view. Also, further investigation into these texts and surviving runes brings to light the fact that it wasn't a single race born from the mother. We, as modern humankind, are what were known as the Eighth Children. Indeed, before us there were seven other races that were born and then subsequently met their destruction. These races were destroyed by the very hand of the mother who bore them. As the mother gave birth to each new race and then saw that they were unable to obtain the power necessary to return her to space, she would destroy the current race and then give birth once again to another new workforce. Before undertaking the investigation of the newly discovered ruins, I would like to quickly break down my current knowledge and understanding of these seven races. The first children were snakes from the belly down. Unable to comprehend the wishes of their mother and desiring only their, her power, they met their end. The second children were a race known as the giants. Apparently they were successful in making contact with extraterrestrial beings, but they were then wiped out in silver, civil war. The third children had wings on their backs and were extremely proficient at flying. However, they attempted to recreate their mother's power and cared for nothing else to their own end. The fourth children were half man, half fish. When the third children were wiped out, a huge flood covered the earth in water. It seems that this fourth race was created simply for the purpose of carrying on what civilization remained. The fifth children were similar in form to modern man, but were apparently somewhat smaller in size. They too were destroyed, apparently for seeking the secrets to life and death and attempting to take advantage of the mother's power. From the six children on, these races were no longer born directly from the mother. Rather, they were made from clay dolls created by the fifth children, with some sort of machine used to breathe life into them. It may be safe to assume that around this time, the mother became unable to bear any further children using her power alone. Possibly for this very reason, it seems that she was unable to properly lead these children, and they subsequently split into several separate races leading to continuous wars. The six children worked on the life-giving mach machine further, and thus were born the seventh children. <clears throat> they were created specifically to be a relatively powerless race in order to assure they would not have the power to destroy themselves, nor to arouse suspicion in the, in the mother as to what the six children were planning. The villagers around the entrance to Milan are the remnants of this race. The sealing of La Milana was made possible by these descendants of the six children who became aware of the mother's power and continued for generations to study and research it in secret, quietly passing down this wisdom down through the ages. So yeah, uh, nothing we didn't already know from playing the last game, but it's still a good recap. There's that six-pointed star again. A hole in the ground may well exist for a spear to pierce. A new message. So there's a switch in the hole in the floor, huh? Why don't you stick your hand in there and flip it? If your hand can't reach, maybe try throwing something in to flip it for you. <laughs> That's some top-notch advice right there. Is this the Earth Spear? It's very possible. Indeed it is! More progress! The 
Earth Spear is a pretty powerful sub weapon, uh, although <laughs> right now it's a little limited in ammo. This place is run by the Lokapala, the six children who aim to take control of Eglana itself. They've taken control of Yggdrasil. Watch out for their lookouts. Get found when they'll gather their buddies to deal with you. Interesting. Aha! Hold down and uh, press the sub weapon button and you can throw your spears. Good to know. Ye who seek to bear the Gale Fibula must first Gale Fibula must first pass through the spear bereft beast. Only then shall you dash like the wind incarnate, your human potential unlocked. Not quite certain. Uh, what did I accomplish? I'm not sure. Ah, here we go. Gale Fibula! Running like the wind. Whoa. Uh. It seems as though the six children hold power in Eglana. The Fairy Queen and her ilk are also the six children, but their views differ from other six children. It must be of a different tribe. Unlike other children, it's said that the six children were split into different races. If you could distinguish not only between different races, but different tribes too, then it may be easier to solve riddles. Now. Um. Uh. That definitely happened. Alright, uh, let's do that again, but better. <laughs> Why? Ooh, uh, I better, uh, I better get here. This could get dangerous otherwise. more with feeling. Again. Let's see what this has for us. Um, that's something, all right. Let's go check it out. You know, just out of curiosity. Oh, okay, it's a way back up. Twenty-one minutes. Mounted accessory, the wearer can dash like Okay, we can turn it on and off. We can turn them on and off, okay. Cool.
Okay, so if I do this. Yeah! What does this do for me? across the water race scanner <laughs> okay oh it reads ancient text and tells you which race it was inscribed by interesting first child the nunaki Present the Twelve Skulls. The Master Skull will impart the secrets of Eglana to you. Cetus! Spear is a lot. This uh, this dash accessory is a liability. <laughs> but hey, we can cheese see this. That's pretty great. Oops, assuming a bat doesn't get in the way. up here. Oh. Is it... <laughs> Yoga Inferno or something. Alright, that aside, seriously, let's uh, figure out what we just unlocked by killing that fish monster. the scales here. That would be cool. Actually, maybe this is part of the Ring of Water? Hey, it's Dad and Grandpa! Oop, there they go. Curry is splattered over the floor. Eglana, a copy of the mother discovered. I found the entrance to Eglana in the remnants of La Mulana ruins. There didn't seem to be any particular traps or their mechanisms of note. This may be thanks to the crystallization of the mother's power we have in our possession, the secret treasure of life. The layout of the Eglana ruins seems to be similar to that of La Mulana, being split into several distinct areas. I've only just begun my investigation, but I'll record what I've discovered and noticed so far. I still have no idea as to when or how the Eglana ruins were built, but it seems as though its existence has been known and was used as a kind of penal colony by the various races inhibiting, inhabiting the area throughout the generations. Those engaging in war among their own race were sent off to Eglana. <coughs> it's basically a way to say, if you can't stop fighting, and do it somewhere with nobody else around. To my utter surprise, there were still remnants of the various races that were thought to have died out completely. 
They may have been spared from destruction at the hands of the mother due to the fact that they remained inside Eglana, a copy of the mother herself. It also seems as though they continue to fight amongst each other to this day. It has become apparent that Eglana is structured in the shape of a huge, upside-down tree. For this reason, the inhabitants of Eglana refer to this place as Yggdrasil, meaning the World Tree. The center contains a large trunk-like area, and from there grow several other branch-like areas. The remnants of the previous races are shut inside these branching areas. However, it seems that there is one race which is attempting to seize control of Yggdrasil. Known as the Locapalo, they are one of the races comprising the six children. They do not give the impression of being especially intellectually advanced, to put it generously, and seem to think of nothing other than taking over Yggdrasil. <clears throat> Five of the races born from the six children still remain in Eglana. I heard this from one of the upper-class nobles of the remnants of the six children. First off, the Locapala, which with machinations to take over Yggdrasil. Their efforts to seize control of Yggdrasil have been focused around an area known as the Immortal Battlefield. The race is derived from six children, which were sent to Eglana for their inability to stop fighting and killing were the Aesir and the Vanir. The Aesir have sealed the Vanir away in an area known as the Divine Fortress. The Vanir are an apocalyptic race who pray for world destruction. In preparation for the long-awaited Day of Destruction, the Vanir have been accumulating some kind of powerful force known as the Cataclysm. It is said that long ago they had the ability to create huge weapons of terrible destructive power, capable of burning up the entire surface of the Earth. Never give up on your dreams, Vanir. It was the Alpher who brought forth the Seventh Children, and who saw the Mother's very existence as a threat, thus embarking on plans to seal her away. Now only a handful of them remain. An area known as Anthem, the Fairy World. It seems they were originally a race that had further split from the Locapala, <clears throat> and who have since been fighting against their former brothers. But in order to seal the mother away, their leader, the Fairy Queen, escaped from Eglana to Lamulana, where she began working together with the seventh children on a plan to seal away the mother. The eighth children, me specifically, were able to figure out what was about to happen through various clues throughout the ruins of Lamulana and who was finally able to succeed in sealing the mother away. After all those years of work have finally having led to success, you can imagine the utter frustration and dismay I experienced in finding this copy of the mother known as Eglana. I wonder if the Fairy Queen and her followers were able to predict that the sealing of the mother would cause Eglana to change. Oh, there's also a tribe of who shared a fairy name too. They're very small and have wings similar to those of an insect. They could be considered the origin of what we know as fairies. Alright, so the fairies are members of the six children. Interesting. <laughs> Ye who seek to open the floodgates, know that this waterlocked land's awakening will also be the great serpents. When the water of Yggdrasil's roots flows through these lands, the great serpents shall be raised and all paths will come alive. Interesting. data on down there. Oh, I just opened the floodgates. Okay. Ah. So what does this do for me exactly? The Amama were a race of fifth children who meddled in the arcane mysteries of life and death in hopes of escaping the mother's influence. The Ennead fight tirelessly to keep them sealed. The Amama and the Ennead are exiled behind the gaze of the dead, wherein the light of souls keeps them sealed. Alright. What does this guy have to say? Soma. Do you know of Nibiru? Nibiru is said to be the paradise inhabited by those who came down from the skies. Those who came down from the skies called themselves the Anunnaki. It was they who bestowed mankind with knowledge long, long ago. Nibiru is said to be on the other side of the underworld.
Oh. Oh, there's a there's a pedestal here. What's this have in it? The map. Awesome. Well, I think that is uh, well about time that we uh, ended things off for tonight, and my throat is starting to bug me, so this might be my last recording for tonight as well. Uh, kind of sad about the hype, but, uh, you know, uh, we always have tomorrow. Let's heal up. And get down. Yeah. Fair game, and that will be the end of that. Thank you all for watching, guys. Bye-bye for now.